Good day, viewers. Welcome to today's class. Today, we are going to be looking at some numerical problems under simple stress and strain. Now, the question we have here says the square steel rod 20 millimeters times 20 millimeters, the section is to carry an axial load of 100 kN. The load is, of course, comprehensive on the rod. We are asked to calculate the shortening in length, that is the change in length, of 50 millimeters. Now, we are giving E, which is our modulus of elasticity because the 2.14 times 10 to the power of 8 kN per meter square. So this is the data as outlined here. If you look here very well, you are going to see that I converted our millimeter, of course, to meter by dividing by 1,000. So if I divide 20 by 1,000, I'm going to have 0 0.02. Of course, this is the same. And also here, 50 divided by 1,000 is 0 0.05. So this is what we have here. So now let's solve this question. So we are told that a square steel, the steel rod is square. And we know that the area, of course, of the square is nothing but length times range. So the area A, area A, which is equal to length times breadth, will now be equal to 0 0.02 meter multiplied by 0 0.02. And this is what we have. So if you multiply this, it will be equal to 0.0004. So this is what we have. Now, from our relationship of stress and strain, we know that modulus of elasticity E is equal to stress, which is sigma, all over E, which is strain. Of course, we are going to be making E the subject of this relation. To do that, first we are going to be cross multiplying. We have E multiplied by capital E be equal to sigma make e now to make strain now subject we are going to be dividing both sides by modulus of elasticity so e will be equal to sigma over capital e which is our modulus of elasticity so next of course we know that sigma sigma equal to our force all over area so we are going to be substituting that here, and we are going to be finding our strain. That's what we are going to be doing. So I will know that, of course, we have all our values. So E, now, from here, E will be equal to our sigma, which is, of course, force all over area. What is our force here? We have 100 kN. Okay, 100 kN all over our area. We have calculated it. We say it's 0 0.0004. All over our modulus of elasticity, which is 2.14 times 10 to the power of 8. 2.14 times 10 to the power of 8. This is our modulus of elasticity. So, next, what do we have? We have E to be equal to, take the inverse of this, we are going to be having 100 all over 0 0.0004. Multiply by 2.14 times 10. 2.14 times 10 to the power of 8. So this is what we have. Now, don't forget that strain is also equal to our change in length all over the original length. Of course, our change in length is what we are looking for. So we can say E, which is strain, is equal to our change in length all over our original length. Now, from here, what do we have? You can see that this is a relationship for strain. This is also a relationship for strain. So we can equate this both equation. Of course, we can call this equation 1. And we can call this equation 2. So if we equate this both equation, what do we have? We are going to have by changing length all over the original length to be equal to 100 all over we have 0 Point zero 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 four multiplied by two point one four times ten point one four times ten to the power of eight. So this is what we have. So next, what we are going to be doing, we are going to be making, of course, our change in length to the subject of this relation. If we do that, first we are going to be cross multiplying. If we cross multiply, we are going to be having our change in length. We multiplying 0 0.0004 
times 2.14 times 10 to the power of 8. So this is what we have. This will be equal to L, which is our original length, multiplied by 100. So this is what we have. So next, we just divide both sides by what is in this bracket. If we do that, we are going to be dividing both sides. What do we have here? Now 0 0.0004 multiplied by 2.14 times 10 to the power of 8. Here also, we have 0 0.0004 multiplied by 2.14 times 10 to the power of 8. So next, we are going to have this because what we have left. So next, what, we have, what are we going to have left? We have our change in length to be equal to our length. Now, don't forget that our length is 0 0.05 meters. So we have 0 0.05 meters multiplying what? We have 100 all over. We have 0 0.0004 multiplied by 2.14. Times 10 to the power of 8. This is 8. So, this is what we have. So, we are going to be solving this. If we do this mathematically, we are going to be having our change in length to be equal to what? To be equal to 0 0.0000. 0 0.0005 0 so, this is what will be our change in length. Of course, we have our dimensions to be in meter, so this will also be in meter. What we have. So our change in length, that is, the shortening in length of 50 millimeter of this rod will be nothing but 0 0.000584 meters. So thank you for watching. We are going to be solving more and more numerical, of course, numerical problems under simple stress and strength. So stay tuned. Please be sure to like and subscribe to our channel so that we can get more videos. Of course, and it's going to be educational. Thank you.